homemade ethical okay, so we're gonna season our ground beef you want to make sure it's cold but you season it with salt and you can do generous with the salt because we're gonna have to mash all this together you want it to get on all portions of the meat uh, onion powder cumin garam masala Italian seasoning normally you would use lamb uh, as half beef half lamb but since um, none of the grocery stores have lamb right now and it's hard to find um, then we'll just do all beef and I'm sure a lot of people won't complain about that some people are scared of lamb but not me next step is to just mix all, all this together this is about two pounds stick this in the food processor all right so now that we got all that and we're gonna go in with some diced onion some fresh garlic some sour cream not a whole lot and this is not a traditional recipe as far I mean it's traditional the way we're making it but it's not traditional as far as some of the ingredients I'm putting in because y'all know I always do me some heavy cream not a whole lot of that either an egg a little bit of vegetable oil Alright, so when you get done, it's going to be like a paste, just like that. And you just drop this in the loaf pan. Um, it's going to be like a glorified meatloaf, basically. But it's a gyro, so it's got different seasoning spices. And you see we put some different things in there. The sour cream and the oil and stuff is just to provide fat. So that you can come up with a paste like this. And uh, we're going to put it in the oven at 325 for about 45 minutes to an hour. And let it bake off and then we'll come back and show you exactly what it looks like all right so our gyro meat is out of the oven we're gonna let that rest it's kind of like steak you do not want to cut it immediately because it'll just leak all the juices out then you'll have dry meat so you just want to let that rest all right so we're gonna make some rate ziki remember the tandoori video we did some rate so we already have the rate to here um, tzatziki is similar to reita, but they use a little bit of different stuff. So we already made the reita. What we're going to do is add in some fresh dill. My little assistant has helped me. And then a little bit of vinegar. And a little bit of white wine. Not Moscato either, ladies. That's too sweet. You need some Chardonnay or some Pinot Grigio, some real white wine. And this makes it just like a tzatziki sauce with all the reita ingredients. And if y'all don't know, I'm making two dishes at the same time. So I'll use this on my uh, gyro as well as on my chicken bouillon. So now we'll just cut our gyro meat. It's been resting a little bit here. We got this soft pita wrap. You feel how soft it is. A lot of the ones at the store are really not this soft. And uh, we already got tomato, onion, and everything all in this sauce. So there's no reason to put all that on the wrap. We just put some pickles on there. And we just top our our gyro meat with that right there and we put a little bit of lettuce on the bottom there's also lettuce in the rate ziki that we made up today and just fold it with the fries the homemade fries mama them the homemade fries we're gonna season these homemade fries as soon as they come out to grease with some seasoning salt and some lemon pepper seasoning That's the homemade gyro with the homemade fries. The homemade fries, mama. Them the homemade fries.